Hi everyone. This is Suzanne and Lori. Hi. This is Lori, my studio assistant. We're going to show you how we prepared these garden balls. Typically, if you were to take the class here at the studio, we'd do this together. But we prepared them for you because it's a little bit messy and to do it at home. And if you don't get it right, um, it can just it makes mosaicing the garden ball more difficult. So what we have, we have the the styrofoam ball. We you can get that at Michael's or Playtime. And then this is thin set, which we will talk about during the class. And then we have here we have um, fiberglass mesh, which I sell here. Um, you could probably get it at a hardware store. Anyway, so the first thing Lori's doing is she's covering the ball with um, the thin set, and then she's going to put pieces of mesh on it. The mesh just makes it a little more stable, gives it a little more um, texture, I guess. So, and now you see how she's using her thumb and she's spreading the thin set because you really want to get a thin, it's called thin set. You want to get a thin coat of thin set. If you make it too thick, it's a little harder to work with. Um, and the, really the most critical thing about this garden ball is you want an even smooth surface. You don't want a lot of bumps because that will make it hard for you to mosaic. I have an example of what not to do. So if you see this ball here, you can see how it looks like it has a lot of crevices and canyons and um, this is what you do not want to do. You don't want it to be messy like that. You want it all smooth because now you have to mosaic like on top of this and it's bumpy and that'll just make it difficult and frustrating for you. So this is what not to do. This is what you should do. <laughs> See how she's getting it nice and smooth. Even the mesh is th showing through and that's fine. You just, you don't need much thin set to keep that mesh in place. And um, we'll talk more in class about how to make, this is for an outdoor project. And the reason this can be outdoor all winter for many winters is because you have the styrofoam, which is inert, and then you have it covered with thin set, which is cement. That's what you use like to put a brick wall together. And then you have the fiberglass mesh just to giving it a little more stability. So um, that's what we're doing. And I'm just gonna show you, here's another piece of mesh and she's just using her thumbs just to really spread it, spread the thin set and um, it'll stay there, it won't come out. And here's an example of a ball that we finished. See how nice and smooth, you can see the thin set, you can see the mesh through it, but that, that's perfectly fine. I'm showing you the thin way. Oh, maybe. Anyway, so that's the finished product.